You know, I really like this Casey Powell. Me too. Yeah, that's me, say. I love all the characters in these books, but my favorite is Ginger Snap Gonzalez. Oh, I just got up to her. She's that nosy newspaper reporter who always finishes everybody. Sentences. She's a really cool character. And she's the one I'll be playing. Oh, hey, Daisy? Yeah. Can I borrow your hat? Okay, sure. Thanks. No problem. Now, Casey, let's focus on the details. The little things you see. You know, the details. Yeah, you're actually pretty good at that, Lisa. Oh. Ginger Snap, Casey. It's Ginger Snap. I'm sorry, Lisa. Ginger Snap, sorry. Now, Polly said that you've already seen the first clue. Am I right? Or am I right? Right, right. This clue could be anywhere, anywhere, I tell you. It could even be those, those, uh, those weird symbols on Polly's door. Those are matrix codes. A matrix what? Look. It's a symbol like the ones on Polly's door. Each of them has a secret message. Well, I'd say we found our first... Clue in that message. You took the word. Right out of your mouth. <laughs> this is really fun. Well, well, well. Ginger Snap Gonzalez. I thought I smelled cheap perfume. <laughs> and I thought I smelled a rat. Ta-ta, slowpoke. Looks like she beat us to our first clue. Now, Keith, I don't understand. How are we supposed to turn this into a clue? Check it out. I have a code reader on my phone. Let me see this thing. All right. Now, point the camera at the code. OK. Make sure that the whole code is in the picture. OK. And now. Well, hello, operator. It's a sentence. 